Well, hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Life is Tiff Knows It. Tiff here, bringing you another whipping chat. And if you watched last week's whipping chat and it looks like almost the same, that's because I have not diamond painted all week. Oh my gosh, it has been such a busy weekend and week. I haven't even like, on. do you want to hear something sad? I haven't even thought of like sitting down and diamond painting because there's just been so much going on. Ugh. It makes me kind of sad because when I realized when I was film, uh, getting ready to film this and I haven't touched it, gosh, it's been a whole week. It feels like it's just been a blink of an eye. Goodness me. So, hi. I hope you're doing well. I hope that September is treating you well. September is, goodness, it is just... I like the month of September. It's just so much. So let's get into why I was so busy. Um, so it was my husband's birthday this weekend. And we were invited to go to a um, WWE pay-per-view. And if you don't know what WWE is, that is world... Hmm, what does it stand for? It's wrestling. World... Some... Is it World Wrestling Entertainment? I don't know if it's World because WWE is definitely more like United States focused, but I will have to, I will have to see. <laughs> That's intriguing to me. Um, so we were invited to that by some really good friends of ours. And my husband and I used to love watching wrestling. Well, love is a strong word for me, but... Um, you know, I, I, I entertained it and my husband's been a big fan of wrestling, but he stopped watching it. Actually, it's just so cheesy. Like you don't watch wrestling, uh, wanting like really quality TV. Like you kind of, it's kind of a parody of itself. I feel like in a way, um, but it was like, it was fun going because we got to see, uh, John Cena, who is, pro I would like say besides The Rock, probably the most well known wrestler because he's been in so many other things. Oh, this diamond. I don't feel, come on, go in your place. <laughs> um, but yeah, so John Cena was there. It was really fun watching his intro. The tickets were pretty good too, but I don't know. Traffic in Denver is insane. So I don't know why I thought like the plan for Friday was um, I would get off work on time, which I did nah, kind of okay. At. I could have left earlier, but that works just a whole other beast that I'll probably talk slightly about, not get into any details, but um, I was going to get off work, go to a cross Metro Denver, pick up my daughter, Denise, drop her off at a sitter's house, and then um, go uh, go to Bill's work, Bill's my husband, and then we had to drop off some stuff at the, po the post office for his job, and then go to the event. And I don't know why I thought that that could all be done in two hours of time. It definitely took so long. So we missed like half of the show. Oh, we missed the rock. The rock came too, but it was really, it was a fun, fun time. The arena that we were in is called ball arena. And it's probably, I probably the biggest arena besides the football stadium in Denver. And the thing about that a stadium is is the seating is so close to each other that um like the I mean the seats it was so hard like you cannot even scoop by people without uh, with like they have to stand up that you can't even like scoop by them 
It is so awkward. It's like you are like face to face with people if you need to get up and move. So that was my only thing. And I remember feeling that way before, but it was just like so insane. Okay, I stopped for a minute. I've been distracted while I've been filming this because people keep messaging me and I'm like, I just need to get this done. Oh. So, yes. Um, what else happened this weekend? It just, it feels like so much. I've been balancing so many things. Like the analogy I keep using for people is I feel like a juggler with too many balls in the air. Like, ugh. So we were, I was trying to get ready for my husband's birthday party. We needed to go shopping for snacks. Um, he really likes ice cream cake, which ice cream cake is pretty legit. It's pretty good. And so <laughs> I don't know. I just, I've had a marathon of things of just trying to get everything ready. And because we had that fun event on Friday, I had no time to do um, prep work. And then my mom is usually available to help watch Denise, uh, but she had a concert, so I had to drive my daughter clear to my mom's house, which she lives like an hour and 15 minutes away, the day of the party, which meant that I, like, that was, and then drive back, so that was three, like, three hours or so, maybe two and a half of time not prepping for the party and then I don't know like I know I've talked about this before but if we're gonna host if I'm gonna host a party I I get really nervous like nervous number one because I want everybody to have a good time and number two I want our house to look nice and so we definitely clean this house in record time like I was frantically uh, just, I don't know. It was, it was not fun. I was, I've never been more upset getting ready for a party just because it just felt like this is too much. Like I didn't make the, like, for example, I bought six avocados for snacks and then I was, it's totally on me, but like I was moving so fast in the store. I forgot to get guacamole mix and we didn't have any, we have some seasoning and spices that would have worked, but I just nixed the guacamole. So like now I have all of these avocados in my fridge and I'm like, how am I going to eat six avocados before they go bad? Like just silly things like that. And so I'm just really eager to be, to just next weekend. I think it's just a chill weekend. Like we have no plans. No one's coming over. Um... I'm going to need to have some time to prep for something for work, which is unfortunate, but it's just, you know, it's just the nature of the beast sometimes with, with this job. I'm, I have this training that I'm, I'm a trainer for next Tuesday. So like a week, well, a week from now, because, like if you're watching this when this is released, cause I'm going to release it on the Tuesday and, um, so I'm, I'm really excited for just that, that to be over that training. I am just, there's so much nervous energy flowing around inside of me because I just want to do a nice job. I want everything to go well. And part of me knows like it most likely will, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a little overwhelmed right now. A little frazzled. Um, the party was fun actual during the party, but I've never been so stressed. Oops, prepping for a party in my life. <sighs> oh, goodness. Um, let's see. What else has been happening? There, well, and you'll see too, like last week, if you follow my channel, I try to release videos currently every Friday and every Tuesday. Didn't happen last Friday, but we did. My daughter Denise and I, we did go to Michael's the other day and... Please stay tuned for this upcoming Friday. I'm releasing a shop with me video. Michael's had a lot of diamond paintings. I was pleasantly surprised. I did. I thought maybe it was just like Michael's in my area or like Colorado Michael's were just like downsizing diamond paintings. And they're not 
there was actually three different sections with diamond paintings there currently. So if you're looking for, you know, store-bought diamond paintings, I would recommend uh, Michael's. The thing that I did not see was Halloween themed ones. Like there are some fall ones you can totally do, but they went straight to Christmas. They had a ton of Christmas ones. Some of them were kind of like a winter landscape ones, which I thought they were really pretty. So, um, to see them, please stay tuned and watch my video released this Friday. I did just finally edit that. Like I even had it filmed. I just did not have time to edit it. I don't know. Like the time issue, it's real. There's just not enough time in the day. <laughs> uh, I think that's why too, like my videos have just been, my shorts videos have been sporadic too, um, with being released. Simply because I just, I've, I've filmed a lot of them. I just, I need to just not have a million things going on in my life so I can um, edit them and plan more. Like, yes, I'm so excited. Um, let's see. Oh, one thing that was funny that like while we were prepping for this party, we did find diamonds that were under our coffee table um, glass. Like, I don't even know how that's possible. Like, I, I don't know. I have diamond painted there, but I don't know how diamonds like could get under the glass. So we had to lift up the glass <laughs> to get rid of the diamond paintings and then, or not diamond paintings, diamonds, which I don't know, maybe that would be a good place to put a diamond painting to display it. I don't, Ooh, I just thought of that idea. <laughs> Um, I found a diamond painting also in my belly button. So there's that. <laughs> a diamond from a diamond painting in my belly button. So it's like the universe is saying, where diamond paint, Tiffany, diamond paint. Um, oh, and I don't know if I told you, um, it is work related. I'm trying not to talk about work, but I'm so excited. Y'all, I'm going to be hosting or co-hosting a diamond painting club for kids. And I'm so excited because it seems to be a really popular thing. Like kids are asking for it. I'm really excited about it. I did have to, for funding reasons, I feel bad about this, but I, to fund it, I use something called donors choose and donors choose is, it's pretty cool if you're an educator or if you're interested in um, funding people who educators for certain projects. And so I got things donated to me for this diamond painting club and diamond art club was not an option. Like it was just Amazon. And so I did unfortunately buy not legally like I didn't buy them, but I have not legally licensed artwork for, um, this club, but I am so planning to tell kids like, Hey, this is like a starter kit. If you like to diamond paint, this is what the right thing to do is because I, there's no way I could have done this club, um, and spread the word about diamond painting if I wouldn't have done it through donors too. So I'm just really excited because part of my job is going to be, um, sharing my love for diamond painting with kids. You can tell my excitement level went way up when I said that. And it's true, like, I think there's, there's a value to this. There's such a value in, um, craft work that is calming and regulating. And maybe that's why my week's been, felt so stressful. It's because I haven't slowed down to do this. I just haven't had the time. <sighs> so I'm excited about that. Um, what else? You know, I honestly, uh, this might be such a short whip and chat because it just, I, I can't even like, um, comprehend all the things I've been busy, but it's just with different things that I don't think are of interest. Uh, so one thing I, I did have a quote about feeling overwhelmed because that's definitely been my life and it's, it says, do your thing. 
Do it unapologetically. Uh, don't be discouraged by criticism, which I am all the time. You probably already know what they're going to say. Pay no mind to the fear of failure. It's more valuable than success. Take ownership, take chances, and have fun. No matter what, don't ever stop doing your thing. And I, I really like that quote because it just, it reminds me that life is going to be busy sometimes. Like, I cannot control the storm of things um, that I'm tasked with doing currently. Like, and there are things that I like. Like, that's that's the thing I want to communicate too is like, I like planning parties for my husband. I like... Um, I like my job, but it's just sometimes so much, so much combined and being a mom, I, I just, I'm, like I said, I feel like a broken record. I'm very excited for the slowdown point, for the training to be done, for a weekend of not driving, endlessly and planning a party and hosting the party. Um, you know, I'm just very excited for that. I'm jumping around because I'm just remembering things. One highlight from this party is we played Yahtzee and Yahtzee. I love Yahtzee. I forget how much I like it. Like it's those games that are simple that are so fun and every single player except for Bill got a Yahtzee. It was so insane. I felt bad because it's his birthday, you know, and he's the one that did not get a Yahtzee. But yes, that was fun. And we had, we have about, oh man, probably like eight sets of different Yahtzees. We have like a Donkey Kong Yahtzee, a, um, a Zelda Yahtzee, a, oh man, what are some other ones? They're just out. A Firefly Yahtzee, if you've ever seen the show Firefly, highly recommend. Um, so many just novelties, but I'll tell you what, they they don't make those Yahtzee kits for um, usability purposes. Like, <laughs> it's really hard to roll dice in them, and they're so loud. So, that was super fun. And I, yeah, I don't regret the party, I don't regret being so busy. It's just, it's just a lot. So, um, thank you for your grace in my lack of creating content lately or long content. Uh, this is probably going to be a 15 to 20 minute, uh, whip and chat. And you know what? That's just what it is this week. I want to get back on track. I want to get ahead of my filming and it will come with time. It will come when I'm not so busy that I feel like insane and I'm it's content that I'm going to enjoy making because I'm not going to feel rushed or pressured so I have a feeling in, in next week's whip and chat you're going to experience a Tiffany that's calmer that has way more of this diamond painting done um let's hope so and if not it'll be the week after that because I will still be prepping for something for work at that point in time. But I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a great um, week, day, year, month. Thank you for tuning in. It means so much to me. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing for more diamond painting content that will be released at some point. I love diamond painting. I love talking about diamond painting. I love that you're watching this video and I will see you next time.